One of my favorite games on the Wii was Disney Infinity. Now this one is not going to be provided with any pictures or gameplay or anything because not only do I not have the game, but I don't have the time. But I will explain the game the best I can. This Infinity is a game that came out on the Wii, don't know what year, and it was very interesting and unlike any other game on the Wii that I could think of. There was other games kind of similar to it, Skyrim, but basically you are given this magical pad thing that you plug into the back of your Wii via USB and you're given these figures which a code sticker thing on the bottom of the figurine that would put the character in game. It would disappear when you take it off and reappear when you put a new one on. There was also a third panel for the world that came with the character. It was mostly Disney characters of, obviously, of all the Disney characters from the movie. I don't know how many they have now, given the fact that the Wii is now obsolete, but they had a lot of characters and a lot of worlds. The one I had was the basic starter pack. It came with Mr. Incredible, Sully, and Captain Jack Sparrow. Along with that came this, I called it an ice cube because it was the shape of a cube and it was crystal colored, but on that ice cube it had the three connecting worlds with the three characters I had. My favorite was Jack Sparrow. So, the longest gameplay was Captain Jack Sparrow's gameplay. The shortest, unfortunately, was Sully's. So, in each world there was story mode and normal mode, but I'm only going to explain one of them because it's really long. But Jack Sparrow, what you have to do is get something from Davy Jones. I, don't, I can't remember what it was, but you had to get something from him. And that would have you sail across the sea every once in a while on his ship to get to all these different destinations in order to get more intel on how to get the thing. The game ends with you defeating Davy Jones on his pirate ship. And let me tell you, that is the hardest gameplay ever, only because you're not the one in control of the ship. In any other situation, you are in control of the ship, and you are in control of which direction the cannons go. You can upgrade your cannons throughout the game, and you are given several different cannons to choose from. You can change all your cannons, but you can't change individual cannons. This made games very interesting and fun. However, when it comes to the end, somebody else takes over the ship and apparently they have two second memory or something and they will throw directions as to which part of the ship you're supposed to be firing from. So while he's telling you to fire from the one side of the ship, say left, he's turning the ship so that way the back end is facing the ship that you're supposed to be firing at. And so, you're just running around aimlessly trying to get to a cannon closest to the ship you're trying to fire at. And you end up dying several times. I found out the last time I played the game, which was like maybe a couple years ago, that I can be in control of the ship, but you have to like stand a certain way to actually shove him off the way because I was just about done with his horrible steering skills. But yes, if you're not playing gameplay mode, you can also go into sandbox mode, kind of like Minecraft in its creative mode, and you can just build and build. Except unlike Minecraft, you do not have unlimited building space. There's a little meter on the side that tells you how much space you're allowed to have, which kind of defeats the purpose of build to your imagination. Because apparently they think that your imagination has a limit. So I couldn't even build an entire city because apparently there's too many buildings in one spot. And it does affect, like, the larger the item, the bigger the space it takes up. Kind of like Sims. And as far as I can remember, they've always made it so that way your house can only have so much stuff in it. I don't like those kind of games where they have you, Oh, use your imagination to build whatever you want, but you can only use this amount of space, though. It kind of sucks. One thing that did upset me in the gameplay mode was this one aspect. So there are these little pods that sit about the, the area. We're talking about Jack Sparrow. So then around the town, you'll see these little metal pods sitting around with the icons of other pirates. There are two other pirates being Barbosa and Davy Jones. If you collect those pods, you unlock this giant safe hidden somewhere. And when you unlock that giant safe, you're allowed to get all the toys that's inside. Toys are just either items, power-ups, vehicles, or other characters that you can have playing in the game. Not other characters, but like 
NPCs, like main character NPCs. Everything's based off of toys, so the game acknowledges all the characters, including the ones you're playing as, as toys. So when you unlock all the characters because you have to actually purchase the actual figurines to unlock them, you get the toys that the game comes with. However, when the server, I guess, went down or they just... Unfortunately, Disney Infinity did not make that much of a sale, so eventually just kind of gave up on it halfway through. So while I'm playing the game in creative mode and you put so many items down, you start winning stuff. All the stuff that I got after purchasing all three pirates, I already had them. And it was kind of upsetting. And I don't know if it, the game goes off an award system, but it was pretty much pointless. I do not have... As far as I remember, I do not have the figurines anymore. I remember they were in this blue box that we used to have, but I don't know where the blue box is. But at least I got to play all the gameplays. The funny part was, though, when you played the other pirates from Pirates of the Caribbean, the story did not change. I'd play as Barbosa. you have to go defeat Davy Jones, get a thing, and call it a day. However, the funny part is when you play Davy Jones, the story is still on Davy Jones. And the characters that st speak to you like the NPCs, they refer to you as Davy Jones. And then they're like, Davy Jones, we need to go go after Davy Jones. He has the thingy thing. So it was just, I found it funny because nobody changed at all. Like it would have been interesting. It was like, that's an imposter. That's not me. We need to go to stop him right now. But that never happens. They just kind of act like the story never changes. I, it could be a cheap way of fixing things. I find that amusing that they didn't change the story for the Pirates of the Caribbean gameplay, but when the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie came out, apparently they updated some of the dialogue for some of the characters. So, if you're playing as one character, if you have one figurine on the board and another figurine on the board and they pass each other, so they'll make remarks to something based off the movie. Well, I had a couple other, and I think my sister at the time was playing Wreck-It Ralph. He passed Jack while I was playing Jack. He said something about Dead Man Tell No Tales. That movie had just come out, and that game had been out for years. So, because he said that, I was like, how the- They still update this? Who plays this game anymore? Online servers don't even work. I have waited online servers for hours, and no one will come on. Nobody- Nothing would happen. Like, that game, unfortunately, got nowhere. But I still found it fun, because any game that I could do some creativity, I will milk until there's nothing left. Just giving you guys a quick update, I have a giveaway being hosted right now on my Instagram account. There is no other place I'm hosting this giveaway, so if you want it on the deal, go ahead and swing over there to check it out. I am currently hosting a Pokemon patch giveaway, doing what I believe is the first gen. Pretty easy and simple to enter the contest. There's a lot of people on there, so I would give it a shot and see if you can win the contest, but that's just about it. Thank you for watching the video.